Welcome everybody, this is In The Sea. It's a mod pack found on the Curse Launcher. It's a survival type mod pack played underwater, as the title suggests. All right, the first thing we've got to do before we go too much further is actually create a world. It's not really straightforward, so let's go through that. We go through to the uh, here, we go to create from template, we click on start and you can rename your world doesn't really matter but uh, we're just going to go create new world now once you've done that go cancel your new world will be here so we're going to select that and we're going to play wait for the uh, world to load it will come up with a failed detection uh, probably due to um, some updates from the mod author that wasn't really uh, notified. And uh, we sit and wait, and here we are. We are here. In this little enclosure. We have an under... Well, I don't know what you call it, underwater garden? kind of sort of and also what we have here is a ladder going upwards into an area up the top here okay so you've got a little bit of working space until you can actually start uh, braving out and going out into the sea as it was there seems to be some sort of uh there is seems to be a little bit of land generation um but I have done a little bit of poking around in creative mode at the map itself and the water does actually go to the maximum sky limit as it was. So there is no escaping the water, you are underwater for the, for the duration. Okay, we've got a quest book, so let's uh, get into doing some stuff. Let's just put this soul sand here. Right, so... In the sea, click to start. Click to show the quest. Shipwrecks, OF. Right, start. Starting pack requires a piece of oak wood. It would be nice to have a bit of flavor text here, but uh, well, we work with what we've got. Okay, so we've got our one sapling here, which is great. The only thing is that uh, this area is full of trees that we don't want. So what we're going to do, we're going to make a crook and hopefully we're going to get some saplings back. Now this pack does seem to assume a lot of, that the player has a lot of knowledge in creating or actually doing things with um, Ex Nihilo and basically Skyblocks as, a, as a such. So if you're not really that familiar with the pack, you might run into some problems. So we're going to take this, we're going to grab that. Uh, we only going to want to three, or oh, actually four of these because we're going to make the compressed crook like such gonna hop up here it's a shame I don't have it's gonna break those two um, let's do a little bit of parkour I'm gonna take our crook And hopefully we get some saplings back. Okay, we're getting uh, cherries from the cherry tree, which is nice. But hopefully we get some saplings from these particular trees so we can grow them again later.
does all right we actually did we get one cherry sapling so that's actually not too bad the uh spruce on the other hand doesn't seem to be looking so great oh no there is one there is one spruce sapling there let's punch some wood Oh no, there, are, there does seem to be some spruce saplings on the uh, ground there also, so that's actually pretty cool too. So that should be enough. So we're just going to just use our crook here and clear out all this riffraff, this stuff. We did actually manage to get a, a a worm in amongst all this, so that's actually even a bon that's a definitely a bonus because that is going to be something we're going to be needing very very soon. Okay, so most of that's all sorted. We're just going to use our log, break down these other this tree here, break the other one so we can get a little bit of space going because the uh, one thing with these sort of uh, underwater maps which I have played one in the past called Davy Jones Locker it was very very similar uh, I wonder if this particular mod author got the, got the inspiration from that but it's definitely a uh, is it, it's a challenge to start expanding your base most definitely although looking out the window out here was it out here or must be it was upstairs we did actually see quite a large amount of gravel so we can actually use that to our advantage a little later on not right now, however. I'm going to pull up all these other extra trees because I don't really need them. Um, we don't have any shears quite as yet. And that was a mistake. If you've got uh, too high um, flowers there, it's best to leave them until you get shears. Come on. There we go. All I want is extra space. I don't really want to be dealing with the uh, botanical flowers yet. But soon. Come on. Select. There we go. Do, 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 do. Okay, get rid of that. Okay, now we've got a little bit more space. Hey, there's squid out there too. So we've got this big house mountain here. There looks like there's other um, structures, well, formations out, out there that way as well. So we may be able to do something with that too. But I've already got plans. Plans on how to expand. Oh, we even got a lemon tree sapling too. That's fantastic, actually. It's always good when you chop down a tree. You get, at least get a few saplings. You actually get more saplings than you do for actually to replace the tree. So having a good food source, it's actually quite a good thing to start off with. Right, so we take our uh, wood, our oak sapling, we'll stick them in the ground there. Uh, I'd like to get this actually started happening sooner rather than later. That has removed some of the saplings. Although keeping the spruce saplings is actually not too bad. We'll take that. We've also been given a chicken, ah, a chicken hammer. So we can actually get chickens later. Very well, soon. Of course, let's go back to the quest book. That's not going to help us. 
Uh, we uh, have been given a bone block to help us get going. So we're not waiting forever. Cool. And I'm not going to use my silkworm yet. I need to guarantee my oak supply. All right. So I've got saplings. I'm going to eat that apple. Because I can. So yeah, nine saplings. Good start, good start. Do, 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 do. Punch and wood. Now, as I said, this pack does assume a lot of sky blocking knowledge. And that is also having the tools, well, not really the tools, the uh, knowledge how to uh, start off with, uh, what's it called? Tinkerous Construct. Hmm. So uh, I keep pressing H to. Uh, Go for the quest book. It's not going to work for me, sadly. Okay, we're going to grab an apple, because why not? Now we're given these quests for uh, worms. First silk, again, assume knowledge how to get silk. So the way to do that is we get our tree. I'm going to plant a couple here. And bone meal that. And this one solitary silkworm, we have placed, pl plant that in there. Okay, so we're going to take our oak saplings and put that back in there. And we're going to push right on. Now we're going to get our tinkerers set up happening. Because I would really, really, really love an axe. Okay, blank patterns. Perfect. Okay, stencil table. Uh, part builder. Now we need a crafting table. Yep, benchmarking, always nice. All right, tool station. And then we need a chest. That was a little overkill, never mind. For a pattern chest. Awesome. So then we can just line these all up in a nice line and they should, in theory, all be connected along the top here. All right, so part builder, no, I want the tool station, nope. Part builder, nope. Stencil table, throw that in there. Grab ourselves a, an axe head and a tool rod. Part builder. So axe head, uh, one wood. Oh, what? Oh, you need two wood to make an axe head. Hmm, okay. And so ecology, ecologically, I'm not exactly sure uh, what that actually pertains, but uh, yeah. Okay, oh, oh, we need to make a part of, oh. that's a change I'll never really get used to. Axes requiring binding patterns. It's not something I'm really, really used to. Of course, this is something that's been, we've been uh, like running around on 1.7.10 for like a long, long time. It's definitely going to be hard to break old habits. Although there's one thing I like about this uh, Tinkerers, you can actually shift click into here. And it's really easy. Right. Now, our worms are doing well. We do, however, need to make another crook. 
so we're going to go back to the pattern chest, get rid of our patterns in here, because we don't need them anymore. And yeah, we're going to use the rest of our spruce. Try and keep it nice, neat and tidy. Get a, a compressed crook back again, because they are so nice. Okay, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get, get a, a chest going as well. Just to keep the inventory nice and clean, or try at the very least. If you've known me long enough, I generally tend to have a very messy inventory. And generally it doesn't change that much. I wonder... Nope, has to be to the side. Definitely needs to be on the side. I wonder if it actually will connect that way. No, that's okay. We'll keep our food, our wood, and these other things in here. Now, it's given us uh, blue flowers, mystical light blue flowers. I think that's enough kind of flowers to possibly get hydroangias although of course you, you know those things they generally like to um, die after a while that was a thing that was done at some point or another in Britannia's history so we've got that easy now currently harvestable I believe oh no that's still infesting Still kind of infesting on that side, so... We'll get our string. Hopefully we'll get some worms, actually. That is my uh, hope, anyway. We're definitely getting string. Oh, come on. Infested, infested, infested. Getting a lot of string. From one tree, that's actually not too bad. Although I... I do recall that we used to be able to get... Extra silkworms. By... This. Although that may have changed. Tested. Well, I suppose over a stack of string for one tree is not too bad. Do we have vein miner? Nope. I'll just have to make a lumber rack at some point or another. Okay cool bananas so let's actually check the quest book and make sure I know which mesh that I'm trying to make and that's a silk mesh 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 silk mesh string uh, I'm pretty sure you actually need two of those but we'll shall see Again, I'm not used to this thing. Okay, so we get we actually do get another silk mesh as a reward and a reward bag. Let's pick the actually. Let's get the the melon juice. Okay. Crap group. Botanist album. It's a cosmetic. Okay, press B to... Okay. No, it's not that. That's for waypoints for pressing B. Uh, I may have to uh, go through and have a look around. Uh, baubles. 
Oh, isn't that pretty? Um, why did it sound like I heard a skeleton? I thought I heard a skeleton. I don't like that. I don't like hearing things that not, I'm not supposed to be hearing. Okay. Go back to the quest book, see what the heck is going on here. Okay. I don't know why it's got a loose detection task here. Probably it's a uh, <coughs> bit of... Um, a little bit uh, of an extra thing maybe. I don't know. A sieve. Okay. So that's the mesh. So heavy oak. Now we just want a... Is it an oak sieve that I need for the quest or no? I got to just double check. Yeah, it's definitely an oak sieve. So I turn all the wood into planks, which is fine. We definitely got a lot of extra silk meshes. I only made two. All right. So oak sieve. Okay, uh, pick one. Oh, what do I want? Do I want the hammerhead or do I want the ball of moss? Uh, I'm going to take the ball of moss, actually. Oh, detection. Uh, what is it? Oh. Oh, okay. So it's going to require uh, that, which... All right, so we take our oak sieve, right? Now, the silk mesh, I believe, we place in like such. We'll place that in there, that in there, that in there, that in there. So, getting cobble. Which is with the small stones. So a heavy sieve with dirt. Extra helo sieve with dirt. How do we get dirt, I may, may, may ask. We can compost wood chippings. Um, how do you get wood chippings? Oh. You hammer wood. Interesting. That's different. Uh, meta ignored. Huh. Okay. So, let's make a hammer. Like such. I think we need to make an oak barrel. Again, this is assumed knowledge. Like such. What is this? Spice rack. Okay. I know a couple of people, they've actually done a little bit with uh, cooking for blockheads. I'm going to have a talk with them about that. So we've got that, we've got that, we've got a hammer. So let's grab some of the oak wood that I've got here. Place that down. Aha! Seems to be pretty generous. That was about, about a tree's worth of wood. 
Aha. So this is going to become a point of actually just growing trees, composting them, getting dirt and blah, blah, blah. I think I'll do that between episodes. And we'll get our pieces of broken ore and we'll get this quest actually done. All right. Okay, folks, if you like this episode and would like to see it continue further, do go ahead and click that like button. And of course, if you're interested in anything else I've done in the past, do go head on to the uh, playlist to the side here, or even go to the channel page and check out the things I've done in the past. Also, uh, things I've done in the past and what I'm doing right now. All right, folks, well, I've been Raytech. I shall see you next time.